So in the previous video we saw how you can connect your wallet using the basic Ethereum API uh, with this button and in this video I'm going to show you we're going to add another button that's going to just when you click it it's going to show you the balance of your account address. It's a pretty basic video so to speak but you're going to uh, learn a lot of things along with it. So let's start by going into our app from the previous video and the previous video was as I said about how you can connect to your wallet so so if you don't know about this code just watch the previous video and here I just want to add another another button so let's go ahead and call this check balance and also the function is going to be called check balance or it should be like preview balance but let's just stick with this for now let's go into our index.js file create a function of the same name of course and then we're going to create and it, this function is going to be async function because remember transactions are asynchronous operations which means you, you have to use this async await uh, paradigm so uh, so in these videos I don't want you to just uh, you know just to show you the code but I, I want to show you how I figure out a solution to this problem so how did I found the solution to this problem and what you can do if you let's say you didn't have this video and you wanted to check the balance of your uh, account um, of your MetaMask account so you would what you would like to do since we're using the metamask api you just search uh, in google for metamask the metamask docs and this is what you will get and also you have another website that i found which is basically this ethereum wikipedia that's also going to help us so you can bookmark those as i did so you don't lose them so let's go ahead and start coding so I'll go into my project once again and into this uh, check balance function we're going to define a balance this is going to be the result we get from this transaction we're going to do which which uh, in front of we're going to put a wait the wait keyword because this is as I said asynchronous operation so let's go ahead and access the window dot ethereum global object and call the request method then inside we want to put in again method and then we want to go for the eth.get balance or sorry this was underscore or whatever it's called so access eth get balance this is going to get the balance and here we also have another second parameter which is going to be the parameters which are just params like so and these are array of parameters you can add a bunch here so instead of adding the parameters outside this method curly brackets you just add them right after this uh, get balance string so let's do params and then this is going to be array of parameters so let's start for a stop for a second and let me explain you how did how do i even know which uh which method should i call how do i know that these parameters exist so if you just go inside the documentation i told you previously about you see you have this e uh, get balance function and if we click on this it's going to take us to the explanation of this function which says it returns the balance of the account of given address so so all you, that you need to specify are these parameters and you have to of course specify the address uh, from which you want the balance and you also have these parameters which is not really uh, needed I think it's optional so we're not going to use that so here what we want to do is go into metamask to copy our address and you want to just paste this here or what you can do is just access the accounts that we have here and not worry about 
uh, copying the address but we're going to do this manually let's say you do not have uh, like we do we do not have access to the accounts object here and also we can catch some errors here because if we don't the bad stuff going to happen so let's co just console log this uh, error or which we can just console log the error code and let's console log this balance let's see what we get so in the documentation it said it's going to give us the balance so let's save this go to our dap now we have this check balance function and if I, if I go to my metamask let's let's see if we are connected we're not so let's go ahead and connect click on next connect now you can see this account subjects is printing out let's click on check balance let's see what happens so it turns out this second argument wasn't really that optional and you just have to add this one in make sure to add a comma here between the both parameters uh, so i'm going to save this and i'm going to print only the balance and let's go ahead test this out click on check balance and bam this is our balance so but it's not really readable for you because it's in a hexadecimal format which means we need to convert this so it's it's in uh, hexadecimal so let's go ahead and this balance let's add parse int so we're going to turn this into an integer so let's click on check balance once again and we get this uh, big very big number so it's practically impossible to have this much ether so let's go ahead and click on my metamask and see how much actual ether i have so i have 5.8 ether and it says i have five five point i don't know five trillion ether and uh, so it's pretty similar so which means uh, I'm going to show you this is basically ether again, but it's represented in way And what's way you're asking? Well way is this thing. It's the smallest use unit of measurement of ether So if I type in this is just a simple converter and one ether is basically this much way so if you have 5.8 ether like I have and I cannot top type point here but if you have 5 ether this uh, 5 ether is this much way it's uh, 10 to the point 1 ether is 10 to the power of 18 way so if you have 5 ether it's, this is why you get this big number and that's why we have this big number over here which means if we want to get the actual ether we need to divide this by 10 to the power of 18 which we can get by this math library and this power function function or whatever the shortcut is and I'll just pass 10 to the power of 18 here I'm going to save this click on check balance again and BAM this is how much ether we actually have